Hello and welcome to my blog. In this video, I'll show you that uh, how to install a reverse motor on a bike, quad bike. So this time, I, I like last time. Last time I was uh, just going to install the motor directly to the sprocket, to the tire of the. So that that didn't work at all. So this time what I'm trying to do is just to, to reduce the gear ratio. The gear ratio, I'll reduce the gear ratio so that it will reduce the speed. I know that it's, it will reduce the speed, completely reduce the speed. But still, it will just work. That's what I wanted to see in this video. So guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe my video. So you will get my not uh, and turn on the notification so that you will get what my videos i'm sorry for my bad english <laughs> that's that's uh, worst but uh, still subscribe and turn the notification on so that you can uh, you can you will get my videos every time i upload it that's what and uh, this time hmm, i think it will work so let's go to the video and see what what will happen who knows <laughs> still let's see what's what's the process now so guys guys look at this this is what i made the last time when i installed this direct this motor directly over here it was completely a failure like uh, this thing was going moving but uh, it was not having enough power to drag this quad bike with it so what i've tried to do is i reduced the gear over here so this thing this motor will move this thing over here as you can see this thing over here and then this pocket over here will move this bike back so i will be back once i install this whole thing okay and yeah guys i have installed the motor cable over here this is the cable for the motor you can see and uh, there is an issue over here that uh, I have to move this grip off out so that I could turn this motor in anti-clockwise direction. That's what. So I have to cancel this grip over here. For, and uh, also that I have installed this thing over here. The button over here it has one and two depending on how much speed you can you want to use to, to push this button to more make the motor run so everything is installed over here you can see let's just install this thing on the bike yes guys we are back so as you can see this uh, this pocket run this big sprocket over here you can see that it's working okay and so this big sprocket runs this smaller sprocket over here but now I cannot move this I see it's jam over here so when I try to push it it actually moves the bike but it's slower on other side it's free it's having free movement and uh, this pocket runs this pocket over here the main pocket so this is the process now and the battery wire you can see I have connected it I have connected before this red wire was over this side so I have just uh, in order to change the rotation of the motor I changed the grip like now before this was red and that one was black now it's red and black to, uh, to run 
this motor in anti clockwise rot rotation so okay guys we are ready to go so now i have to attach the battery over here attach a battery and we will be good to go i don't have battery with me right now so i'll just keep car battery to check this whole process like uh, how it's going to work i hope this time it does not fail <laughs> yes guys look now i had installed this minus cable to the battery and plus cable also so now it's time to check it's time to check whether everything is fine over here yes everything is fine now let's see i'm putting this thing on one and here we go ah nothing oh yes it's working it's low power and uh, you can see it's uh, barely moving now on number two guys <laughs> mm -hmm. what's the issue now everything is okay over here the motor is not heating up it's normal everything the chain the chain is very loose over here mm. this chain is bit tight right now as you can see over here God Oh no You can see the motor is trying actually But I don't know why it's not moving <laughs> let's see let me just oh, oh. it's too hot now this cables they're very hot This is the former forward moving. <sighs> Everything is fine over on this side. Come on. Come on, let's just push it.
I'm just pushing it and no 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 <sighs> so I should find some option over here anyways guys hit hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, I need your help if you keep on subscribing means I will just make this thing run I think so this is uh, motor it is uh, very less watt you can see 120 watt i have to say something bigger over here anyways guys bye Oof. this time guys again the same again the same thing happened like uh, last time i thought uh, it's going to work by by reducing the gear ratios to play a uh, little bit uh, around the ratio of the gear so that uh, this thing work but uh, still that didn't work because I don't like personally to get, get off the quad bike and reverse it so that uh, and again sit on the quad bike and go that's what uh, I personally don't like it and even like uh, we can just go and I can go and buy a reverse gear kit for the bike and install that but still, I don't want that also because uh, better to do experiment and fail and again do it, again fail, again. That's that's what uh, from that we can get knowledge. I, my personal experience that we'll get knowledge so that uh, anytime we need that, we'll just uh, be ready for that. <laughs> that's what. So it's just an experiment video that I'm trying to do. <sighs> what else to say? <laughs> Nothing else. So just uh, guys, next time, I hope this thing will work, will work, I hope so. So just turn the notification on and hit the subscribe button so that you will get my video when I install the next time, upload it next time. So don't miss out. Hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you.